What's going on guys, welcome to the video. It is 6.45 in the morning. I'm just packing up my bag right now, getting ready to leave because this is our first away trip of the season. I'm just about ready to head to the facilities. We're training here in Charleston. And then after that, after we shower and everything, we're gonna head straight to the airport. And then we leave for Detroit to play Detroit City. I'm pumped for this trip because I've never really played Detroit City before. So it should be a new experience. I know the atmosphere there is unreal. So I'm really excited for that, especially for their home opener. It should be really exciting. But this is what I'm bringing for the trip. I got a phone charger, my other white polo, an extra black pair of pants. I got some underwear, I got some extra socks, and then I have some gloves because it's going to be pretty cold. I got a book that I always bring and I never read because I always watch stuff on my phone instead. My toiletry bag, I'm not bringing the Goochster, but she's just up here. And then I'm bringing my laptop and I got a bag and I also got this right here, little wheeled bag or whatever. So. That's what I'm bringing. And now that I'm looking at this, I think I'm gonna bring another couple pairs of socks. So I'm gonna run and get those and then I'm heading out. All right guys, real quick, I wanna thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Factor supports wholesome eating made simple. Their menus are updated weekly and include 27 plus meals and 33 plus add-on options. Choose your favorite meals or let Factor craft your order based off your meal preferences and past orders. Factor also helps you avoid takeout, unhealthy eating or ordering in by offering delicious, no-nonsense meals that you can make quickly in the comfort of your own home. I've been using Factor for almost a year now and I have nothing but great things to say about this company. As many of you are probably well aware of, I'm a professional footballer, so I go off to training and then I do all my work there. I come back afterwards and I'm dead tired, I'm exhausted, and the last thing I wanna do is go get groceries, prepare a meal, or cook. So instead, I grab a Factor meal, I pop a few holes in the top, I throw in the microwave for two minutes, and then I can immediately sit down and eat a healthy, nutritious meal that's gonna help my body recover from the last session and give me fuel for the next session. I then can go on to my next workout, I can start editing a video, or most cases, I can go on the couch and take a nap. Factor has just been an absolute game changer for me and I cannot recommend this company enough to athletes with busy schedules. So if you guys are interested in checking out Factor, then head to go.factor75.com slash becomeelite120 and use code becomeelite120 to get $120 off. Once again, that's go.factor75.com slash becomeelite120 and promo code becomeelite120 for $120 off. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. You gotta get one in there, Burke, you know? <laughs> Let's go, Banjo! <laughs> Ready for Detroit? Yes, sir. It's gonna be a little bit different Wait. weather than here in Charleston, though. I know. I, know. I don't <laughs> like the cold, though, but we gotta deal with it. It's gonna be like 40 degrees. It's gonna be cold. You think we're gonna be roommates? Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> we trained at like 8 a.m. sometimes, midsummer.
Roommate check. Best roommate, best roommate on the team. Let's get it. <laughs> My only thing is roommate, I, I go to bed at like 10 o'clock. That's fine. I can do that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Pat, I'm, I'm excited for this Except trip. Except you have to deal with the white noise maker. Do you, oh, you're serious about that? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I mean, I actually do do it. I uh -huh. do do it every night, but if you don't do it, that's fine. No, I'm, I'm fine with a white noise nice. maker. It blocks out any loud. Any you just loud. do it on your phone? Yeah, I have like the, the app. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. So we've arrived in Detroit. Here's uh, the view. Here's what we got from the hotel room. Pretty cold outside. A, a beautiful view. Beautiful, beautiful. View. beautiful. Nice waterfront. Waterfront. <laughs> the pet house, you know. So, what, what time is it? Oh, six twenty-three. I say we go down. For oh, dinner. we literally have dinner right yeah. now. Okay. <laughs> Just back to the hotel room right now. It's like eight twenty. At night, dinner was spectacular. Honestly, it was for hotel food, it was very good. We had like salmon, chicken breast, quinoa, some salad. We had sweet potato. We had like a minestrone soup. And then we had some veggies. So really good dinner. And then afterwards, we did like 10 minutes in the pool, just like some mobility, some like dynamic movements, just kind of get like the travel out of our legs. And then now just up here. So I'll probably go to bed in like an hour and a half. But decent first day of uh, travel with Charleston Battery. Pat, how'd you sleep? I slept fantastic. Good, good. Absolutely fantastic. You just think like eight, nine hours of sleep? Yeah. I was a white noise maker. Oh, Dude. class. Class, right? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Dude, it's nice. Um, so now we just uh, just getting dressed. I've already headed down to breakfast. Um, and then kind of just like hanging out today. We just had breakfast, then we have a little bit of downtime, then we have lunch a little bit of, like a meeting, and then we leave for an early game because we play at 4 p.m. today. So, a little, a little different than usual. All right, we were just talking about our uh, game day routines. What's your typical typical game day routine. Like today's weird because we play at four. True, true. Today is weird, but the game's at seven. Usually waking up around nine o'clock, immediately making breakfast, probably eating around 9.30, 9.45. And then I'll like watch a game. Usually if it's a Saturday, I'm usually watching Premier League uh -huh. or some type of game that's on. And then I'll go for a walk and a stretch around like 11, 11.30. Come back twelve, like twelve thirty one. I'll eat like a really big lunch. Oh, eat a big lunch. Yeah, I eat like uh -huh. a really big lunch around twelve thirty one o'clock, and then I um, usually put on like a nice little show or movie to kind of get my mind out from soccer. Mm -hmm. Take a nap two to four. Two to four, two hour nap. Yeah, I love a good two hour nap. There big you go. nap guy, big nap guy. And then uh, I'll wake up, um, have a cold shower, banana and peanut butter. Um, and then like maybe like a protein bar or something else and then head to head to the locker. Okay. Head to the locker room. Do you have any like weird pregame rituals or anything you have to do? Like I always, hmm, I wouldn't say, no, I probably don't have any weird game rituals. I'd like to watch a movie on game day. Like, okay. Or like some type of movie uh -huh. to just get my mind off the game right before the nap. Yeah. That yeah. way like I'm, I'm not like stressing. The worst is like, when you're trying to sleep and you're, you're like, and got you're the anxiety. Over, yeah, you're going over like, what's gonna happen you're like trying to get ready and you're all amped up about the game excited yeah, uh, and you can't sleep so I always like try to watch a movie that, that helps calm me down that makes sense uh, right, before, right before a good nap <laughs> <laughs> damn I could never sleep for two hours dude, it's always like dude, 45 minutes two hour minutes. nap you feel so refreshed <laughs> <laughs> or you just have no idea what day or time it is so I'm just getting back I was actually down in the lobby and I met up with uh, Charles Halt from Halt's Boots and he dropped off a pair of Vapor 11s for me, the best boots of all time. And these are actually the AG sole plate, so um, made specifically to play on like artificial ground turf fields. Detroit City is turf, um, but I'm not gonna wear these tonight just because I haven't broken them in really, even though I probably could get away with it because I really don't need that long of a break in time. I'm just gonna go with what's safe, what I've already broken in. But those will be really helpful because we do play like Miami FC is on turf, Indy 11's gonna be on turf, Hartford's on turf, Pittsburgh Riverhounds is on turf. So 
unfortunately there is you know a few amount of usl teams that are still on turf so i'm going to break these in over the next week or two and then they should be ready um, for all the uh, artificial ground fields that we're going to play on for the season anyway right now uh we've already had team lunch we went on a little walk outside it was cold and rainy it's like 45 degrees outside but uh could be worse especially being in detroit michigan in march i'm just happy it's not snowing pat's in the shower right now i'm gonna get ready we're gonna pack up we go down we're gonna do a little team meeting probably go over a little bit of film and then we're heading out to the stadium so almost there And from the grassroots of Detroit soccer all the way to U.S. Soccer Second Division, this is Detroit City FC. Let's see the run up. Right foot blast. Hits off the right post. Boy, DZ Harmon gave one a go. But that right post, John, Steinwasher's best friend. People will always remember that match at Honduras in 2009. He had a brace that qualified USA. As that shot goes over top of the bar, prime dangerous opportunity for Charleston Battery just over top of the ball the left side towards the 18 feathers the pass inside turning shooting sending it just wide of the bar was DZ Harmon that was another dangerous opportunity Maxi Rodriguez looking for Carroll Carroll's header not a ton on there it was loose you can count on him to do that He's really improved his ball placement over the years. This ball will make its way through to Reese Williams. Here comes City. Williams stepping over. Williams accelerating. Williams cross comes through. Rodriguez has it. Rodriguez lets it go. The stop is made. The rebound's put back in. Oh, but oh! One nil City. Look at the way City kept following the shot. First of all, a great diagonal ball to open things up. And the step over to keep the play moving. The service cut back in. And look at the City players with their head up, following the ball and never stopping moving. Sometimes you can get caught watching the paint dry and watch the shot and make it easy for it to be cleared away. Williams up towards the frame. That's headed wide. Charleston starting to exert a little bit of a physical presence here. Looking for Rutz. Now it's touched ahead, Atuahene. This is onside. Atuahene in the 18. Atuahene gives it a go, and the stop is made by Kuzmenski. That ball goes through, and that shot, and Steinwasher makes the save. It's up in the air, and Steinwasher able to track it down. Golden moments. He was team of the week for match day one, and he made his case here in match day two. Got down. The final whistle sounds in Detroit City FC in their home opener in USL Championship get a 1-0 victory over Charleston Battery. So it's the next day right now, um, frustrating game. I thought that we had like the better of the opportunities from the game, just couldn't put them away. Uh, when Detroit got their opportunity, they, they, they put theirs away. But uh, yeah, it was a tough, tough game. The support, I mean, the supporters of Detroit were awesome. Like just that atmosphere at the game was, was pretty cool. It is a tough place to play, field conditions and just like the locker room and everything. It's, it's, it's a tough place to play, but uh, but yeah, it's a good game, physical game. Feeling a little beat up, a little knocked, but uh, yeah, just frustrated. Wish we could have brought home at least a point, but that's uh, that's funny. So we had breakfast this morning, a little pool workout, pool regen session. Now we're just packing up and we're gonna leave here in like 45 minutes to go to the airport.